with Jeffrey, who've been making films and media for a really long time. And what were, can you just take us through kind of briefly your business choices? You know, in terms of when you were first starting out making films, did you just start as a sole proprietorship? And at what point did you move into a different entity and why? I started the company in 2001 and we um, are still doing it. Uh, and uh, for my own indie documentaries, I, um, I've made, I'm, a, I'm on my fourth one now. <coughs> and it, uh, the advice that I received was to start an LLC for each project and uh, keep it separate from your own personal finances and your and your whatever company you have. So, in case somebody in case something went wrong, in case somebody sued me, and who knows what? At least my own assets wouldn't be touched, and the my umbrella company wouldn't be touched. So I started an LLC for my first feature called uh, Spine Tingler: The William Castle Story, and we just closed that. That w that came out in uh, 07. It premiered uh, at the AFI uh, AF AFI Fest. And I just closed that entity uh, just in the nick of time last year at the end of the year. And then for my second film, the advice I got, start another one, start another LLC. So I started another LLC for my second film called Wrangler, Anatomy of an Icon. And um, then when it came time to do the third one, I didn't um, really see any point in starting a new LLC. And I started asking around and the advice I got was to run the, just run all the projects through the existing LLC. So now I have Automat still exists and a single LLC that I run all the documentary projects through, but I'm going to close that LLC because now the advice I'm getting is there's no need for that either. So don't start an LLC okay, <laughs> or maybe start an LLC. I don't know. It really, I guess it just depends on the, the project and, and well. your fortitude.